everybody, it's Matthew, garden manager here at Earthworks in Jacksonville, Florida. Today we're going to be talking with Deborah Holt of Holt Nurseries down toward Orlando. They are a family-owned business that brings us not only aquatic plants, but also some of our succulents that we sell here. She has a lot of knowledge about the plants that she grows, so uh, sit back and relax and uh, let Deborah tell you a little bit about the aquatic plants that we sell here at Earthworks. Hi, my name is Deborah Holt and I'm with Holt Nurseries and we are here in Jacksonville Earthworks, beautiful garden center. And I would just like to present you um, a little bit of what we do bring to um, the pond area at Earthworks. We specialize in water plants, um, tropical water lilies, hardy lilies, and also your marginal plants. Uh, we can start with a little bit that we actually brought to you today. And we brought some really colorful tropical lilies. We have some pinks, some purples, whites, peach uh, colors. We also brought some hardies, which typically they run as red, white, pink. Uh, we have a one visa, which is a great one. That's a speckled um, yellow and red flower. So those mainly the lilies that we um, supply earthworks with, and they're great for pond filler the surface with that color. Um, the night bloomers are, is also a specialty, uh, tropical uh, night bloomers. They come in red, pink, and white. And so you can have flowers during the day and at night, and that's a great addition to a pond as well. So with the marginals, I also bring sometimes um, things that can have a bit of a height, which you have your umbrella palms, you have your cannas, I love cannas and the water um, surrounding because not only they give you the foliage, the texture, um, but also the color. Right now we don't have anything blooming, but sometimes you have your, your bright, bright reds or your bright, bright orange flowers. So it's a great, great addition. I like dwarf papyrus um, as well because dwarf papyrus gives you that little fun pom-pom tips, you know. Um, Irises, when they bloom, they're also great, and you can have them year-round. That's a, a great um, plant to have. Pickerel. Pickerel is really easy to grow, and that's what I brought as well. You probably will see them maybe along the highway, um, but they bloom probably two or three times a year, and it grows to a great height, so you can really build a, a little bit of a hedge, if you want, around your pond with it. Um, Colocasias is another that we add, and there's a few specialty to, um, items that I also bring, um, like the Saracenias is one of them. They're bog plants, so they really love to be wet. Um, so that's something that you gotta watch for. We also bring sometimes hibiscus. The uh, hibiscus, it's great because they will not take over your pond, but they can give you height. Um, and they can also give you beautiful blooms. Just like Lily's beautiful blooms, hibiscus, you get beautiful blooms as well. Um, another one that I love, um, the red thalia. Uh, the red stem thalia, the reason why I like it, again, is great height. Um, and then they have these really delicate, spindle-like purple flowers. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. And easy to take care of. So you, that you can actually put in a really good um, depth in your pond and they'll do really, really good for you. So with the tropical lilies, sometimes what people do not know about them um, is they actually have a really light fragrance to it. So that's an additional bonus, not just color, but fragrance. So during the season, that is spring season through the fall, you probably can enjoy your tropical lilies um, always fertilize them once every month and you can ask your um, earthworks to provide you with some um, tabs fertilizer tabs for it and you enjoy these beautiful blooms i mean look at the size of this one actually this one comes with a little frog look how beautiful this is and then in the winter time you may want to go for the hardies because the hardies prefer especially over here in the north towards jacksonville you're going to have really large pads during the fall and in the winter. Where these, in the fall and the winter, they may shrink a little bit on you, but they still should be well, um, if you have a nice pond that's deep, they should be pretty well um, conserved through the season. So, seeing that, we also have other plants that we bring in um, to Earthworks. And if you don't see them here in the garden center, you 
can call your rep here and they can say, hey, this is what we're looking for and they'll be glad to bring it. Um, some of the seasonal items will be probably like the mosaic plant um, or even some of the uh, Sagittarius because they prefer the springtime more so than the fall. Um, or even, you know, any other odds and ends that you see out there, perhaps we carry and just give them a call and they, you know, they can service you well. Thank you for your time and uh, if you have any other questions, check out our website www.holtnurseries.com. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you later.